This Airsoft GI TV episode is brought to you in part by G&G Armament and TSD Airsoft. Welcome back to Airsoft GI TV. My name is Tim, and I know how much you guys love M4 variants, so I did you one better. <laughs> this is the Top Tech or G&G T418. Obviously, it looks very similar to an M4. It's kind of built off of it, but there are a couple of differences. Okay, this gun has a lot of great features on it that you don't find on a lot of other G&G guns. Number one, crane stock is pretty standard now, especially with the G4 series that we have out. Every gun comes with a crane stock. The forward assist is functional on the T418 to release your spring tension. Fire selector on the right side of the gun works. Well, this isn't the selector, but the fire selector indicator moves. Okay, this is a very unique feature. Not very many M4s have this, or 418s. Pneumatic blowback, obviously, G&G pretty much. Wrote the book on the pneumatic blowback, functioning charging handle, functioning bolt catch on the 418. Kind of a sissy spring behind it, but hey, it still does its job. Very, very well built body. The Top Tech series of guns uh, from GNG feature an aluminum metal body and an aluminum barrel versus a magnesium body and a steel barrel. Reason being is because aluminum is actually a little stronger than magnesium. Magnesium is still a great material to make a receiver out of, but it's just kind of brittle. The aluminum is a little stronger, it's a little more malleable, so it can take a better beating. CNC machined rail system. It's hard coated, anodized, so the finish looks very good on this gun. Again, very realistic gun. Uh, for now, the battery goes in the front handguard inside the rail system, so it only fits a 9.6 volt nunchuck type battery, but the newer versions of the 418 are coming out. That'll be wired to the crane stock in the back. Continuous top rail is uninterrupted. Front flip up sight, this is actually the carbine version of the gun. The CQB version is a much shorter barrel with the sight on top of the rail. The rear sight is adjustable and it's movable, um, but it's not a flip up type sight. Excellent, excellent gun from GNG. I don't really know what it's going to chrono at, so let's go outside and test it out. Mm -hmm. I'm out of BBs. Me too. I think this guy has so many BBs. Must have got his gun out of airsoft. Yeah, I hear they're giving away two BBs right now. Oh man, I think there's only one thing left to do. Alright, here we are outside in the yard. I have the T418 in my hands. This gun does, of course, feature GNG's pneumatic blowback system. We'll get to that right after the chrono. There were a couple of things I forgot to mention before I went out to chrono the gun. First the thing being this ergonomic pistol grip that comes with the T418. Very comfortable in your hand. Second thing being this nifty tool that G&G includes with this gun. This is a rear sight adjustment tool. It's a Phillips head screwdriver and they also give you a special tool to adjust the rear sight. Third thing being the SCAR style flash hider. Okay, it works with the G&G SCAR barrel extension. So, I believe the uh, CQB version as well as the carbine version both have the same flash hider. If you have a SCAR and you have the G&G SCAR barrel extension, it looks quite nice on here. In fact, I highly recommend it because that SCAR flash hider does look a little out of place on this barrel with this body, but with the barrel extension, it kind of bounces out, looks much better. You can check this gun out on airsoftgi.com for $440. That's all for the G&G G418, G&G T418. I'll see you guys next time. Hi, this is Tim from Airsoft GI. This is Extreme Point .45 pistol. What? <laughs> <laughs>